Hey guys, welcome to Top Channel 111, and today we're going to be looking at some new amazing add ons tools generators that have been released this week that you might find very, very interesting. Starting with Bagger River. This is a totally new generator that generates entire rivers for you, even the riverbank. So if you want a scene and you want to quickly set it up without doing the much work that is needed, uh, this Bagger Pie add-on generator, whatever you want to call it, is very, very powerful and it's going to be very useful for you. It comes with all the assets that are needed. You could be creating a river within a desert or a forest or a, a tropical environment. It comes with all the assets that you need. Uh, you can easily expand the river size and uh, shrink it and everything adapts as you want. The river is generated ar around a curve so you just draw uh, the curve where you want the river to be and everything will be set up for you. It's also quite optimized, has a low poly mode that you can use to craft your river and design it and before you turn on the high detailed assets uh, that you will render as the final thing. Then the next generator I want to highlight today is the GeoBridge generator. This is a procedural bridge generator that can generate all types of bridges from beam bridges, suspension bridge, simple pylon cable, uh, truss bridges and uh, it has all the controls that you need to set up this everything is procedural uh, this is best of geometry nodes if you're working on a scene and uh, you want something interesting or something the scene to be focused around a uh, bridge generator like this has all the detail that you might need it's also designed around curves so you can draw a curve and uh, that curve will turn into bridge you have control over the traffic flow so you can have two lanes, three lanes, four lanes. You even have the option to add road markings. So in case you are looking for a bridge before you go in and uh, make it yourself, I try using this job bridge generator. It might save you quite a lot of work. If you can't beat them, join them. So today we're going to be looking at a new AI generator, basically a Blender AI assistant. We're entering the era of AI agents. Basically, these are AI tools that take over whatever application you give them and uh, they handle everything. And we have at least one for Blender, and this is called the Blender AI assistant that can help you do quite a lot. If you want to generate HDRIs, set that up for you, maybe even do some physics, this is a good starting point. If you want to do geometry nodes and uh, you struggle with that, you can ask the AI generator, give it a prompt and uh, it will set up something for you. And, or at least you can use it as a starting point for whatever you want to generate. Uh, this is quite powerful and uh, I think one of the most useful tools that are around uh, today. So if you want to check it out, again, links are going to be in the description. You can use it to set up materials, set up textures and everything in between is quite powerful. Next up, we have Solidify Plus, which is a new tool that extends the functionality of the Solidify modifier. If you don't know the Solidify modifier, is that modifier that adds thickness to a mesh so that it's not just a thin shell. Uh, this adds a lot of detail to this, including adding extra loops within your modifier. It even gives you the option to create profiles for your modifier instead of just creating a simple extrusion. Another new amazing add-on we have is the XYZ mapper. This is a new add-on that helps you UV unwrap within the viewport. This add-on gives you viewport gizmos that allow you to edit your UVs and uh, adjust them as you want. Uh, it includes a planner box, cylindrical and spherical mapping types. And because it's based on viewport gizmos, it's very easy for you to edit your textures while previewing them directly. If your textures are stretching, you can easily unstretch them. And uh, it also automatically creates seams for you in case you want to export the UVs to other applications uh, like Substance Painter or 3ds Max or whatever. Uh, but uh, most importantly, it allows you to texture without doing any uh, manual UV unwrapping of the models. Another great resource you might find useful is this 5000 PBR material collection uh, that includes everything from bricks, tiles, wood, scales, dragon scales, everything you can think of from medieval type materials, concrete, asphalt, dirt, uh, fabrics, anything you can think of, all PBR meaning that you can use them in other applications, not just blender. You have plastics, you have metals, everything you can think of is included in 
in this collection, all high resolution and compatible with the asset browser. So you can easily drag and drag them directly onto any model you want. This includes 137 brick PBR materials, 185 concrete materials, 1200 fabrics, 40 food textures, 235 ground materials, 450 wood materials, marbles, metals, and a lot more. There are a lot of amazing tree asset collections out there like Botanico, but those are pre-made trees that you can't easily customize. But if you want to create custom trees where you have control over how the tree looks uh, from the branching of the branches, uh, the size of the trunk and everything, this tree designer has 400 procedure trees uh, that you can tweak and uh, change around uh, to create your own tree. Uh, you can generate sterilized versions, you can a realistic one, different designs, different control, and uh, the design of the add-on or generator is quite simple. Uh, you can create trees with red leaves, blue leaves, gradients of colors or random colors, anything you can think of. Uh, this is the best tree generator out there. The trees really look amazing. So this is something you might want to get in case you want a tree that fits a specific design of your choice that you may not find in add-on libraries uh, like Botanic. Another amazing add-on I want to highlight is the AI depth map. Uh, this is basically a bump map generator or a displacement map generator. So if you have any image or texture that lacks a normal map or a good bump map or displacement map, this AI depth generator is going to be amazing for you. You can create that depth within a few clicks and turn your images into 3D models with actual depth that can show parallax in your renders, making your renders look more rich and more detailed. This works very well if you have Roman statues you want to add in the background, but they look just flat as images or textures. Uh, if you use something like this, it can turn that into a 3D mesh that if put in the background of your mesh, it's just going to make things look really super detailed. Next up, we have UV Plus. This is a new one from CG Matter. It turns UV unwrapping into a procedural and fast process. You don't need to create your own seams. Everything is set up for you. It can unwrap your mesh however you want optimize it and uh, maximize the UV space, which will make texturing quite easy for you. UV unwrapping without add-ons can take quite a lot of time. Uh, so using a tool like this can be quite powerful. So I would greatly recommend it to anyone who, who is in the 3D industry. Next up is the global HDRI collection with over 500 HDRIs. You can never have enough HDRIs because different scenes require different types of lighting and HDRIs just provide different ways of lighting and reflections. Just take a look at these HDRIs and uh, tell me if you have ever seen something as interesting as this. The reflections they generate, the crisp shadows are they generate are remarkable every time you change the hdri you can see that the environment gets a completely different vibe a completely different feel and just changes the tone of the entire scene so if you want these really rich in detailed hdris uh, you might want to check out the global hdri collection which has a ton of them and uh, they're all really high detailed high resolution and uh, have a very high dynamic dynamic range and they generate good reflective surfaces uh, that you might not find in other HDRIs. Don't forget to get your copy of the destroyed building generator as well uh, in, in case you're creating post-apocalyptic scenes. Uh, this is a great generator for generating chaos in buildings making your environment look like a war-torn environment. Just before I sign out, my Blender Advanced Effects course is live with a few updates and new tutorials. So if you want to become an advanced user of Blender, just take a look at that. All links are going to be in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.